Be good. Don't mess up. Thank you very much. I don't know if I'm uploading this, but I'm going to be doing a little letter creation for my friends for Valentine's Day, and I thought that I would probably do like a very easy film of everything that I'm doing. So right now, I have a plastic bag and then this water sprayer, and then I also have some markers. And as you can see from the blob that I just made, I'm going to try make this makeshift pretend watercolor effect on it. Later on, I'm going to replace this printer paper with watercolor paper so it doesn't leak through. Oh, I have this really old sketchbook that I got from Ross. I think it's like four years old and I've never filled it out like completely so I'm just gonna peep in and see the ends. Oh, actually I can show you my old watercolor art. Not the best, but that was cool, I guess. But I'm going to give a little bit more of a detailed version of what I'm doing right now. And you guys can see. So I chose the two lightest colors and these two are contrasting. I thought they would work well with each other. These are all the lightest colors because I will be putting text over them. So I wanted to choose something like Next, I'm just going to get a plastic bag or anything that is plastic and I'm just going to scribble. Use the broad end of the tip to just scribble in some colors and I think it's okay if you overlap since they're just going to be mixed together anyway. So I'm just overlapping a little bit. Now I've covered, colored it in, right? I'm going to use a spraying bottle and spray close. So that way they can mix together and you can see that they're already mixing together already which is perfect now here's the hard part i think i'm just gonna put the paper over like this and then let it mix i'm gonna try this again but this time with less water and then just gonna Okay, this one is not that bad. There you go. Something small like this. And then just wait for it to dry. Here's another update. I made a list of all the things I want to add into the envelope because I thought it would be better if I did something like that. And also because I have a memory of a frog. All I'm going to put in the title is based on all three book titles of Laura Jean's um, series. So the three titles are obviously To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and then Always and Forever Laura Jean. And now I am just calligraphing the title on here. I try to make the blobs a little bit bigger um, so I can letter the titles, but I'm going to keep my handwriting fairly small so everything fits together. And I'm also going to follow the font and try replicating it. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. Here's an update. We are now at day two of making all of these. I spent the first two hours of my day yesterday just making these bingo cards because um, I wasn't going to spend my whole day on this. I obviously have homework. Um, but here is the finished look. Um, it just says always and forever bingo card and this is based off of the novel always and forever Laura Jean I have these extra paper clips that I thought would be cute and perfect for this nice little look here just to put everything together and then I also got these tiny origami papers because one of the plans I had was make an origami crane so we need some tiny little origami paper to go along with it and here are all of the tasks that I put in so if, in case you don't want to make your own here are the ones that I chose they're all very simple and then they're mainly just for self-care on the sides I decorated these this one is a Daiso sticker and then I also added some Samita Garashi along with some washi tape in the back and that's basically the finished look of our bingo cards for the playlist that I was going to do, 
I was originally going to create an iPhone, but instead I decided to do a Yakult bottle, which is very popular and a significant object in the story as well. And I honestly think that was one of the best choices that I made in this entire video because I really enjoyed how it turned out. For the people who would like to know, I'm going to be using two, three colors. The first one is the 910 and then this is the 850. I'm going to be using these two for the actual color of the yogurt drink and then this is just the iconic red color um, that is used for the foil of the top and also the ink printing. And this one is 885, but you could just use any regular red marker. I'm going to teach you how to make draw in a Yakult bottle because I was struggling with it, especially making it this big of a size. Um, so obviously I'm not finished with this yet, but I thought it would be easier if I show you along the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one small cylinder at the top. This will be the top of your Yakult bottle, right? And we're gonna go down a little bit, like probably a thumb size maybe, and draw another one, a larger portion. Now don't draw it directly in the middle, at least leave some space. As you can see, it's not directly in the center. And just draw a larger one, okay? Next, all we're gonna do is extend it out a little bit more just to make it a little bit bigger and pull the corner of your cylinder, right? And pull it all the way down to the next one. This is going to create a triangular look to the bottle and it'll definitely look a lot better, especially that's how it looks. And then you can color all of this in. But before we do that, we're going to go down a little bit more, probably the size of one part of your index finger, and just draw another same size cylinder as the one you drew, as the second cylinder you had drawn already. Now for this one, instead of using a triangle, we're going to do a half circle, but going inwards. And this just replicates that little curve they have in the middle part of this um, bottle. Lastly, we're going to go to the very bottom and draw another same size cylinder as the one, the previous two. Just drawing a cylinder. And then get your second large cylinder that you draw drawn and pull that corner all the way down to make a rectangular shape. Okay, now you have like the size, the basic look. You can redraw some parts if they just don't look clear enough for you. Maybe try outlining it with a black calligraphy pen, but for now, that's just the basics of it. And then you're just coloring it in. When you're coloring in with a Tombow, I think it's better just not to use the tip, just to use the entire side. I don't know, it just has more area for me. And that's basically it. Even out the colors, so if you, if you overlapped your ink a couple of times, for example, like I did with the cylinder, just overlapping it so it looks like there's a nice even layer. And then I'm going to accentuate the curves over here just to make it look more curvier and that's your Yakult bottle. Okay so I got all four of my Yakults out. Um, I'm very worried because now I have to add in the red and if I mess this up then I have to do all of this over again and I don't want that to happen because I actually have school tomorrow. We're gonna hope that this doesn't mess up my entire plan. Um, we're gonna add a little foil on top just adding this top part bringing it out and then it's okay if there's a little bit of wrinkles because that's basically the foil look to it what i was going to do next is the logo now i'm very scared that i'm going to mess this up so please be good don't mess up thank you very much okay it's fine it's fine just write the whole i'm going to do a swirl here and then going to make it a little bit broader here. So this one has a sans serif look to the font and it's also very thick. So that's what I'm trying to replicate. Okay, now that all of these are 
drawn out I'm gonna be cutting them into die cuts so what basic what I'm basically doing is I'm going to be cutting very close to the edge but edge but also leaving a bit of a white outline out there just to make it look more clean and sharp okay I made four Yakult bottles they're a little bit irregularly sized but I think they turned out pretty well in the back, I'm going to add in my playlist. Okay, I finished all of the songs. Here's my playlist, if you can see. Let me just lift it up a little bit so you can see everything. That is it. And then here's the front. Oh gosh, okay. Here's the front. A cool bottle with that little white gel pen. It's pretty okay. And then here's the back. And then I added like this light pink, very, very light pink. I, I think double like redid it, like retraced over the light pink a couple of times to make it a little bit darker. They don't really serve a purpose other, rather than just to add a couple of looks to it because it doesn't, it won't look as good if there wasn't these pink stripes. It would look very plain. I wanted to add a little bit of pop to it so they don't really serve too much of a, of a purpose besides just making it look good. Okay, so here we go. We have some craft paper. I'll show the image of where I got the inspiration from the craft paper from. So in the movie, I believe, they have a display of the pictures that Laura Jean is, um, the letters that Laura Jean had created and sent out, or her sister sent it out. Um, I hope that's not a spoiler for you guys. Hopefully you guys already watched it, which is why you're watching this video. We have a third one. Um, so here are all of the books. Um, I believe it's to All the Boys I Loved Before, and then P.S. I Still Love You, and then lastly, it's uh, Forever and Always, no, Always and Forever, Origin. Now we're moving on to the most important part of the pen pal letter, which is the letter of itself. And this honestly pains me to no end, the thing I'm going to do. And it's not saying that this is bad or anything, it's just that I've never done this before. And that is, I'm using a notebook paper to write my letters. It's painful, I know, but that's what they used to write their, um, that's what Laura Jean and Peter used to write their, I guess, pact or their agreements so that's what i'm gonna use and i think i'm gonna use blue pen because that's what they used as well so let's get on with it okay so i have my makeshift washi tape um and then these are all going to contain the drawings inside of this little slip and what i'm going to do now is get the colors that i want and color it in And this will be the final look. We'll have a calligraphy name right over here where I'll be able to put their address and along with the stamps, obviously. And in the back, I'll be putting my address just like Laura Jean did with hers. And I'll be sure to add in those tiny little swirls that she always likes doing for all of her letter decorations. As for the letter extras that I decided to add in here, I'll just give a brief overview of what I'm adding along with this cute little paper clip. We have these mini origami paper because I did say in the bingo card to make a mini origami crane. So just in case they don't have origami paper, here's a little tiny version for them. We also have this Yakult bottle. I really enjoyed how it turned out 
and in the back we have to all the songs I've listened to before and they're just some songs that are either in the to all, I, to all the boys I love before soundtrack or just songs that I like enjoying in general. Next we have P.S. I Still Miss You and this is a playoff of P.S. I Still Love You and here I just have a couple of inside jokes that I have and I put it all into a word search format and we'll just be able to find it and I have the answers for all of these so they'll be able to if they can't find anything. And then lastly we have this fun little Always and Forever bingo card. This is a playoff of Always and Forever Largine and I just have a couple of bingo things that they can add in and they could either cross it out or just leave it plain and simple like that. I decorate it with some washi tape and some stickers and that is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this very spontaneous video. I'm sorry for posting it very late. I just came up with this idea like two days ago and obviously I have school so I wasn't able to plan on it for the entire week and um, this is going to be edited very it's not going to be the best edits, but I really hope you enjoy it. Maybe send some to your friends. It doesn't even have to be um, during Valentine's Day. I can't wait for the new movie to come out on Netflix. I'm already waiting for it. I think by the time you guys watch it, it already be out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.